Hello there everyone, this is uh, Milan T-Rex and uh, I'm doing a video, although I promised not to make one before um, before the channel gets big, but this is one hell of an opportunity and I really want to put a tutorial out there for people who are trying to understand the new feature which is the animation and manga studio and clip clip paint so uh, let's just get started now to begin with if you um, go for a new canvas and uh, go to illustration now here in this version you can actually see this checkbox which says create movie illustration now this box I'll put it down to two now this box um, this feature here is the animation as you guessed now I'm gonna use uh, two cells for now just for the sake of the uh, well the tutorial and uh, I'm gonna create it and it's already created I think yeah all right so we have only two here and as you see as I go over those ones the layers those change too so you see the timeline it goes that way and you have this uh, the um, the controller right there if you want to call it controller if you want and I'm gonna get to this later so alright now this is the animation folder which is this one and this is the paper which is that one now the paper goes with the time all alone and the animation folder goes up also with the time all alone and uh, now you kind of see the new idea with the timeline bar here that was added in this version. Let's get started. Now, for example, I'm going to start with um, stick figure. It's the easiest things to always start with. I'm going to draw the head, body, and uh, legs. Kind of weird with the pen. And uh, just like a normal figure. And then the next one. You see, now that I went to the next one, it's in purple, which means that this is the previous layer. Now I can trace on it, at the same time, if I don't want to do that, I can just turn it off by um, clicking this uh, onion skin. Yeah, well, that's what it's called, onion skin. Now, I like to keep it on, uh, especially with the six figures, so I can, um, so I can uh, relate to the previous layers, of course. Now, I can, I can try to make him bend over. If I do that, just tracing on it, and uh, it's basically almost like flash, almost like flash. But but here you didn't have the motion uh, feature. It, this is only frame by frame uh, kind of thing. And, uh, and let's face it, still it's pretty much great for an illustration program, right? So yeah, this is a huge benefit here, a huge advantage that illustrators have. So you don't have to go so much into animation, but you still can animate your characters. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's a beautiful, brilliant idea. Now, the said that I'm going to make him bend over, and um, I need to expand this active timeline that I have to another four, uh, two cells, two more cells, let's say, for now, maybe. If always if I want more, I can just... Right, just drag and drop the um, this blue box somewhere uh, until you have um, until you're satisfied. But um, I'm okay with going one by one. Now, as I go to cell three, you see that it became transparent, and not that's what the um, where the paper comes in play. You just drag this. You see this line dot line whatever. Just click on it drag it and fill your active timeline and there you go you have it now let's get back to our animation okay so the thing that I'm gonna do is like normal in any just like every time we're doing it make a new rest of layer you have it now to put it here you need to right click and select three and there you go as simple as that Let's get working on our character right here and, and put a little even more. Put the hand there. Here, yeah, it doesn't matter the um, 
overlapping doesn't matter because the animation is going to be really clear. So everybody's going to be okay with it. Let's go uh, and do the same thing right there. Now, before I do that, now you see that the the uh, third layer is extended till the end of the uh, animation time. Uh, I should cut this part. Now, it's extended to the end of the animation timeline. And um, you don't need to put it back like so and then... Oh, hold on. You don't need to put it back like that and then insert the other one. You can just go over it, right-click, and put the fourth layer. And there you go. You have your fourth layer on. You draw... I think I'm going to make this uh, our last layer here. And then... Reaching down. Now that I, there you see. Okay. So in my preferences, I have the green. I think this is the default one. So the green means the next layer, and the purple. Well, you guessed it. The previous one. You can always change that by going to animation. So go to where was it? Timeline, I think. Let me show animation cells. Yeah. On your skin settings, and you can play with those. And uh, but I'm not gonna do that. I like to stay with um, default um, settings for some reason. Uh, my personal preferences, anyway. Now, you want to test your animation. You click the play button right there. There you go. Our character is reaching down. Now uh, there is another way of doing it, and um, I mean for those who are not interested in making. Uh, stick figures. You can um, move your illustration, like literally illustration. So let's let's try that for now. Okay, I'm gonna remove this stick figure and uh, make something a little bit more complicated. Having right, that said, I'm gonna need to go into time lapse because it's gonna take a little bit of time. All right, now that we have it here, um, the thing that I wanted to show you is that uh, now you want to color it and then uh, you cannot do that all in one layer because if you color it now then you want to tweak the animation then you have to work on the line, line art and then on the coloring and yeah, it gets really annoying and lengthy. So the thing here that you can do is that just right click on this one and you have this new option which is create folder and insert layer there you go now this is let's call it line art now you wanna make another layer to um, put the colors you normally do it just like doing it every time just like you're doing it in the, any other illustration with the versions before I don't know what this is, in case if you're uh, wondering. Is it a mango? I don't know. It's just, well, call it, maybe it's a new fruit from uh, One Piece. It's a devil fruit kind of thing, maybe. Well, your point your point here is just to know how to get it animated, right? So let's not mind about that right now. Okay, this is, well, this is fine. This is okay. I don't like it. Not so bad. Not so bad. Now, let's... Crack it open, how about that? I think we can do it. We'll take just only, um, let's go for three layers. Okay. Now to do that, now I wanna, show, I'm just gonna delete those for now to show you something. So, like I said before, if we're making, oh yeah, uh, let, let me get to this now, before, before I forget. Now I wanna delete those as well. So how do I do that? You go to this part, which says delete specified cells, and they're gone. All right, I have only one right there, and I want to get it cracked open, so I can just insert another layer, I believe, and just like I said before, I mean this is normally what it is, and then 
go here and there's a purple because it's in the, in the previous layer and then I need to draw all over it again and oh my god it's gonna get really lengthy so what I'm gonna do here is that not to make a new layer and just copy paste there you go go here layer 2 now I like to keep them in numbers so I don't um, mix things up here and screw things up because if you go like second layer I don't know why going so fancy and you know see it there but not here right and if I make a third layer and put it there you're not gonna see it you're not gonna see anything but SEC which is not gonna make any sense it's not gonna help you a lot it's gonna be really messy and so I just just keep them in numbers and let's see now that we have this one we're going to crack it open so that's what we're here to do I'm gonna crack this nut open oh yes it's probably a nut that doesn't make sense it has a leaf it has two leaves right there and that doesn't make sense all right now have it open and let's just get this one right there okay all right so now you get the idea and this is it i think we got it yep we got it now that's the animation now let's go to the next step which is exporting now let's export it as a single layer you can do it here as sorry see you guys i'm learning to export animation you can go for jeff ta-da surprise ta-da surprise you can do it as a JF. And uh, I don't know about the. Uh, oh, yeah. The image sequels is just that having the actual three layers. You're gonna, just going to have it into three different pictures. And movie. In case if you're making a really long animation video. So uh, we can just stick with the JIF. Right. Then I'll go to my folder, Manga Studio. And let's call it Crack. Open for now, and then no, actually, I have animation new one. Ooh, all right, so I made a GIF, all right? Save. Now, those are if you want to tweak it and um, change a little bit of the configurations here, you can do that too. But I'm gonna just stick with the default, and it's perfectly um, completely, uh, it, it is ugh, it's exported already. Okay, I can go look for it and just open it. And there you go, it's right there. Oh, yeah, in case if you want to see this one, I mean, it's just it's my first animation, just want, wanted to, um, you know, explore. And I, I did this, it took me about an hour to, uh, to understand the whole thing and uh, get it done. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys like this video. And um, if you have any questions, please just, um, Put your question down there in the comment section below, and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible, of course. I'm sure I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, you guys stay tuned.